Welcome back. Who is the Alpha and the Omega in Revelation 21.6? For the full article, see the link below. In my previous videos of Revelation 1.8 and Revelation 1.11, after careful examination we discovered how the Trinitarian claim saying Jesus is the Alpha and the Omega was false, but instead was the title for God alone in Revelation 1.8 and that the Alpha and the Omega title is missing from the oldest manuscripts in Revelation 1.11. But what about the Trinitarian claim saying Jesus is the Alpha and the Omega in Revelation 21.6? Are these Trinitarian claims true or false? And what does the Super Trinitarian Barnes notes on the Bible say and believe about Revelation 21 6. Let's have a look. So Barnes Notes tells us I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. This language makes it morally certain that the speaker here is the Lord Jesus, for it is the very language which he uses of himself in Revelation 1.11 and yet we saw in my video of Revelation 1.11 that even most Trinitarian Bible scholars know the title for the Alpha and the Omega should be right here but is instead missing from the oldest and the best manuscripts and was added in some Trinitarian translations at a later date. Barnes Note continues to say See its meaning explained in the notes of Revelation 1.8 If it is applied to him here meaning Jesus it proves that he is divine. And yet, if we look at Revelation 1.8 and look at Barnes' notes on Revelation 1.8, he confirms this, saying, Revelation 1.8 should not be certain that the writer meant Jesus and should not be a proof text to prove Jesus is God therefore contradicting himself. We now move on from myths to facts. Revelation 21, 6 And he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the one thirsting I will give of the spring of the water of life freely. Could the Trinitarian claim be true? Who is the Alpha and Omega in Revelation 21 6? The actual answer is given by Jesus himself in Matthew 12:50 and John 20 17. When Jesus said, For whoever shall do the will of my Father who is in heaven. He is my brother and sister and mother. Matthew 12, 50. Jesus said to her, Do not touch me, for not yet have I ascended to the Father. Now go, my brothers, and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father and to my God and your God, John 20, 17. Notice how Jesus said he was their brother 
and his God was their God. Jesus never ever taught that he was their God or would be their God or that his followers would be his sons which contradicts what Revelation 21 7 goes on to tell us that the one overcoming will inherit all things and I will be his God and he will be my son. We read in the next two verses and I will be for a father to you and you will be for sons and daughters to me says the Lord Almighty 2 Corinthians 6 18 We continue to read in Romans 8 16 The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God So as we have seen true followers of Christ will be sons and daughters of God Almighty and a brother or sister of Jesus Christ proving Revelation 21 6 is about God Almighty alone and not Jesus. Proving yet again the Trinitarian claim is false. 